real good coffee. Hi, this is Janet, and today I would like to talk a little bit about Adobe Premiere Pro's monitor overlays. Now, monitor overlays are transparent boxes that display information about the clips in your timeline, and you can display those transparent boxes either over the program monitor or the source monitor. The monitor overlays are turned off by default, so we're going to turn them on by going to the wrench icon the settings icon, clicking, and I'm going to go to overlays and turn those on. Now, what pops up on the screen is one transparent box that's displaying the source time code for video one and audio one, but I can modify this and change what gets displayed on my screen. I'm going back to the wrench icon, and this time I'm going to the overlay settings option. If we look at this dialog box, the way the menu options are displayed are how the transparent boxes will show up on my monitor. So if you imagine that this box here is your program monitor, and currently on the left side of the monitor, we're displaying the source time code for all tracks in the vertical center alignment position of the monitor. Let's say we want to change that. I would like to display the source time code for just video one. And instead of that being in the vertical center alignment, I'm going to switch it to the top alignment. And now you can see just displaying the video time code at the top. I now want to display other information in my program monitor. Back to the overlay settings and this time I'm going to switch the center top alignments. I'm going to display the sequence time code and I'm going to keep it at the top alignments. And I have some markers on here. So I would like to display the marker information such as comments for the video track and I'm going to keep it in the top alignment. So we can see the sequence time code information displayed in the center. If I position my playhead over a marker in my timeline, I can see the name of the marker appear in the upper right hand corner of my program monitor. Just one final note, if you want to change the font size of your overlays, that again we can do in our overlay settings. In the dialog box in the lower right hand corner, we have text size. I'll increase it and we can play around with the opacity setting also. I'll increase that to 75. So we can see that the font size increased for our overlays. So that is a couple of things about the monitor overlays. You can turn them on and off and you can customize them through the settings icon. This is Janet from Manhattan Edit Workshop. Thank you for listening.